What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Mass360 YouTube video. I hope this content is helping you become a better IT admin manager on your Mass360 account. And if you aren't a current Mass360 customer, I hope this is giving you a good idea, these videos, of how to utilize this tool to better manage and secure your endpoints in your environment. In today's video, I'm going to walk through on a high level and iOS policy, what that looks like within Mass360. Let's pop into policies here. So under type, there's two different types of policy that we offer in Mass360. This is important to note. We have the MDM policies that are based on the operating systems. These control device level features. So you're going to have your iOS policy, MDM, a Windows policy if you manage to secure Windows with Mass360, Android, and there would be a Mac OS policy as well. This funky blue image here, the Mass360 IBM logo. This is for a workplace persona policy, a different type of policy than the MDM policies. And I'll make a separate video of the advantages of incorporating workplace persona policies into your environment. Let's pop into an iOS policy here. All right, important to note, and I spoke about this in a separate video. You can click on that video at the top of the screen about the Apple DEP program and the advantages to that program, you're going to have device settings, advanced settings, and supervised settings. For BYOD devices and corporate issue devices that are not enrolled in Apple DEP, you'll have these device settings and policies available to push down to those devices from Mass360. For devices that are enrolled in Apple Business Manager, you're going to have supervised settings and in more advanced policies and restrictions that you could push down to these devices that are corporate issued in the programs. Important to note, again, click on the video at the top of the screen to learn about the advantages of Apple DEP. We always encourage corporate issued devices to be enrolled in Apple DEP, Apple Business Manager. For a basic iOS policy, when you're pushing these down to corporate issued devices not enrolled in Apple DEP or BYOD devices, you can enforce a passcode policy. A lot of IT admins I work with, they're afraid that if a device gets stolen, the person who steals that iPhone can easily break in if it's a really easy passcode. You can enforce an alphanumeric passcode within S360 and push down that policy to users to make sure they're creating a complicated passcode to get into that device. Restrictions, as you can see, as I keep scrolling, there's so many different restrictions you could set and push down to these devices. It's a ton. For example, you could disallow the ability for employees to use the camera on these devices. Application compliance. This is where you could block or allow specific applications. And this is important. Let's say I want to disallow TikTok on my employees' devices. So I'm going to push down this policy to my employees' devices saying, I don't want you to have the ability to have TikTok on your device. Now, remember, with device settings, these are settings available for BYOD devices and corporate issue devices that aren't enrolled in Apple DEP. So if it's not enrolled in Apple DEP, that phone thinks it's a consumer asset. That asset, that phone, does not belong to XYZ organization. Because of that, when you're pushing this policy down to those BYOD and corporate issue devices not enrolled in Apple DEP, you can't fully enforce the, the ability for that employee not to be able to download TikTok. I will still be able to download TikTok if this policy is pushed down to my device. However, I'll be put out of compliance and cut off from the network accessing whatever corporate data network configurations email that was pushed down to my device from the admin on the Mass360 account. So it's not, it's, I'm still allowed to download TikTok, but it's putting me out of compliance. Important distinction there. Active Sync, this is where we're going to configure your email for your users and push that down. The only thing that they're going to have to do is simply enter their username and password to get that email configuration fully set up. Trustier Threat Management, this is actually a $1 add-on to Mass360. I would say 
40% of my customers are using mobile threat management within their environment. And what this is going to do, it's going to prevent and detect any malicious applications, jailbreaks, routes, and malware on devices and remediate those issues automatically so you don't have to worry about it. Again, 40% of my clients are utilizing this feature within their environment today. Wi-Fi, very simple, intuitive here. This is where we're going to configure your Wi-Fi settings. So whenever an employee is logging in, or not logging in, whenever an employee is walking into one of your offices, they're automatically connecting to Wi-Fi so they're not driving up your data bill. Those are the main items I usually talk about under device settings and in supervised settings. Again, because this is a corporate issue device in supervised mode in Apple DEP, Obviously, you're going to have more control and restrictions over this device than a BYOD or corporate issue device not enrolled in the DEP program. So many different restrictions that you can push down to these devices. And again, if we're going to go through a 30-day free trial with you, if you're evaluating Mass360 during a POC, we're going to make sure that we get most of this set up based on what our clients are utilizing within their environment. We're going to push down the best practices to you and make sure these policies get set up per your use cases, how restrictive, non-restrictive you want to be. It can seem a bit overwhelming as I keep scrolling here. There's so many different options. It's my job and my TSS's job to make sure during that free trial, we get most of the work done. So if you do want to move into production and buy Mass360, most of the work is already completed and you don't have to worry about it. One thing I want to point out here, let's go to the top, is allow activation lock. I've talked about this in several other videos. It's a big issue that a lot of companies and IT admins go through on a daily basis with their corporate issued iPhones. If an employee was using their personal username and password on that corporate issued device, they turn that device in. They don't tell you the username and password. And it's essentially a thousand dollar brick sitting on your desk. And the only way to get it unlocked is to either go to the Apple store or call Apple support. Both are very inefficient. When those devices are enrolled in Apple DEP and Mass 360, activation lock is never an issue. This is a big, big advantage and plus to having those devices in supervised mode. App lock, this is kiosk mode. So we could set up a device. Let's say, for example, you're a bank. And a lot of banks that I work with in 2021, they were having or using iPads at the front of their locations for customers to fill out loan applications, right? And they only want the customer to have the ability to fill out that loan application on that iPad. They don't want them to have the ability to surf the web, download different applications. They just want that loan application downloaded and locked in on that iPad. You would set that up here. I mean, home screen, you could set up these devices so whenever your employee is logged in on their iPhone, their MacBook, their iPad, it looks uniform to the company. A lot of customization here. Web content. You could say within web content, hey, I don't want my employees accessing specific URLs. And you would push those specific URL blocks down to devices here. They would not have the ability to look into that. And I'll do a separate video on Secure Browser in the coming weeks because Secure Browser takes web content to the next level. This is really the watered down version of Secure Browser. Application compliance. I know I talked about blocking apps in device settings. It's going to put it out of compliance. Here, because that device is in supervised mode, and if I push this policy down for TikTok, employees will not have the ability, will not have the ability to download TikTok on their supervised devices. Locking that down. Big difference between out of compliance and completely enforcing that on the phones where I cannot download TikTok. And those are the basics. That's really the basics for an iOS device. And once you build out those policies, and again, it's my job and the TSS's job to make sure that we build out those, those policies with you. You just simply hit save and publish, and then you distribute that policy to 
a single device, a group of devices, or all devices, and you're good to go. That is a simple walkthrough of what an iOS policy looks like within Mass360. If you guys have any other questions, anything that needs further clarification within an iOS policy, let me know. I'm more than happy to make separate videos digging a bit deeper into those topics. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Please subscribe and like this video if you like this type of content. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you.